Microbiologist Brian Polinick leads research on some of the smallest and most primitive marine microbes. Called cyanobacteria, they were the first photosynthetic organisms on Earth and have been major players in the global balance of atmospheric carbon dioxide for billions of years. The emphasis in Polinick's lab is on the extent to which cyanobacteria develop specialized characteristics to adapt to differing environmental conditions from the coast to the open ocean. Coastal organism really needs to have a lot more tricks in it in its bag of tools. It has a lot more tools for responding to change, uh, for changing light conditions or changing nutrient conditions. The open ocean ones seem to have a much more what we call streamlined, simplified genomes because the environment isn't, isn't changing as, as rapidly on a minute to minute or hour by hour basis and so, so their genomes are more streamlined. So far, Polinick and his colleagues have sequenced the genomes of two coastal cyanobacteria and two open ocean species. The coastal microbes have twice the genetic materials to deal with environmental changes and a greater capacity to handle metal toxins, such as copper, a common coastal pollutant. Cyanobacteria account for nearly one-third the ocean's total capacity to capture or fix carbon dioxide, which keeps it from escaping into the atmosphere. The researchers want to understand what nutrients and other factors the microbes require to drive this global carbon cycling. We really want to have a fundamental understanding of where carbon fixation is happening and who's carrying out that carbon fixation and what factors are going to affect them in the future.